Hi, my name is Josh Kallenberg, and I'm here at the Van Nuys Airport in Los Angeles, California. I've been flying professionally for about 13 years, and now I have the pleasure of flying this Gulfstream G450, which is a lot of fun and exciting. And today, I'm going to talk to you about becoming a pilot. So, some of you might, have, might want to learn how to navigate an airplane. There's several methods that we use. Some of the basic, step, basic methods that we use from the primary training is what we call pilotage. It's basically using references outside, uh, buildings, towers, uh, certain mountains, uh, as reference landmarks to, to navigate around. Uh, that's usually good for uh, smaller airplanes uh, or when we're in a fast-moving jet, when you're coming in the terminal environment or around the airport, um, you might use that method. One of the other primary means of navigation that we use is a GPS, Global Positioning System, kind of like the Never Lost in Your Car. Uh, and you'll use that in conjunction with our, um, our computer or flight management system. Another means of navigation is a radio navigation, and that's where we follow uh, electronic signals uh, to certain uh, fixes on the ground or places on the ground and we can use that in the en route segment. So as we're flying along, uh, there are certain stations around, uh, all around the country, around the world, uh, where if you're within the range of it, uh, we can track it and follow that beam uh, to that uh, fix and then continue on. Okay, so let's say I wanna uh, plug my flight plan into the computer and I will uh, obviously have to have our departure airport and then I'll put my uh, destination airport, in this case it will be Las Vegas. Uh, there's a certain routing that, uh, that we've been assigned and I'll just plug that into um, our computer here and it will uh, then be displayed on the uh, display unit and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. 